Okay, we are going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to show you a few things as far as the control panel and then we will get the webinar started. So a brief intro about myself. My name is Felicia Zorn. This is um, my first year out of the classroom. I was a middle school English teacher and I utilized USA Test Prep in my classroom and I have found a few different ways that I liked using it and I would like to share it with others. So this is just a reminder that this webinar is going to be recorded and you will receive a copy of the presentation that I'm going to do for you and you will receive a copy of the webinar via email later today. On your control panel, there is a questions box. Please type in your questions as you have them and I will answer them if the timing is appropriate and if not, I will wait until the end of the webinar and answer questions. I will also stay after the webinar for about five to ten minutes um, so that if people want to ask questions, I will be available for that. For today's presentation, there's going to be a slideshow presentation followed by a live demo. So today's lesson on how, is how to grade with technology, specifically what USA Test Prep can grade for you. So what types of questions can USA Test Prep grade? We can grade multiple choice and short answer questions. And with short answer, we do take into consideration spelling and academic vocabulary synonyms. The only questions we do not grade are free response questions, but we do provide a key for teachers to use. And sometimes the key is structured as if a rubric for so many points. And when students type in their answers and the answers are submitted to the teachers, they will receive um, the bolded keyword. So if a student types in a word that we believe needs to be in the answer, that will be bolded for the teachers. What data is provided after an assessment? I'm not going to go through all of these specifically. I just wanted you to have a resource that showed you all of these pieces of data that are going to be given to you after an assessment or after an assignment. When I go into the live demo, I'm going to show you some graded work from my students and let you see what that looks like. So you're going to see um, some examples of graded work, okay? And how can I use data from the benchmark to drive instruction? So benchmarks are one of our most highly rated and highly used features on our site because of the amount of data that you receive back from a benchmark. And I'm going to show you a completed benchmarks that, a completed benchmark that my students have recently taken, and I'm going to show you how you can give them remediation based on the benchmark results. So there are gonna be two buttons after a benchmark is administered. One is auto assign individual. So it's going to look at each of your students and automatically assign them suggested practice for their lowest three standards for that benchmark. There's also auto assign class average and what that does is it takes the entire class's results and sees what the lowest three standards are and then with the click of a button you give the students practice based on those results. So it's a very short presentation today. We're going to move right into the demo. So I'm going to pull up my USA Test Prep account and I'm going to show you some of the work that I've recently given my students, my hypothetical students. I hope you enjoy their names. Um, and I'm going to show you the results that I get back from them and what all was graded from USA Test Prep. Okay, so here is my USA Test Prep account, and this is for my middle school course. So this was for Mrs. Zorn, sixth grade ELA first period. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on my grade book, and you can see that I've given my students three recent assignments, and so I'm going to go through each of those different assignments and show you what kind of information I get back from them. So I gave them a pronoun quiz, a 2-2-2 two, two, and two performance task, and then a benchmark. So we're going to start out with the quiz because this is just a randomly generated quiz through the site over pronouns. So we're going to look at Julio Jones. So he made a 70%. So let's click on his score. And this is going to bring up through his results page. 
So it was over one standard. He made a 70 and it shows me the date he completed it and what time it was completed. And then when I scroll down, it's going to show me the 10 questions that he was given and it's going to show me which questions he missed. And if I click on number 10 where it says view, I can see what he chose. So he chose answer choice D and the answer was B. So this does give you a lot of data just for a randomly generated quiz and you can get a lot of information from this. Okay, so that's the example of what it looks like when you get it back from a quiz or a test or anything like that. This 2, 2, and 2 is a performance task, so let's look to see how Clay Matthews did. He made a 20. So when I click on this 20, it's going to pull up the performance task. It's going to show when he did it and what time, and the standard and the title of the performance task, and this shows me exactly what he had to do. So he was supposed to sort these sentences into the blank should be TO2, TO2, or TWO2. And we can see that he put all TOO, and this was the answer, the answer key. So I can see how he did with this standard. So this is a way that when I'm looking at these results, I can try to figure out how I want to group students for remediation. And then we have our benchmark, and I'm going to show you a few things with the benchmark. First thing I'm going to do is show you um, an individual student's score. Then I'm going to show you the class, and then I'm going to show you from the student page what they can see. So let's look at Eddie Stark. So Eddie Stark made an 85% on this benchmark. This was a basic benchmark that went over all sixth grade ELA domains, and so I can see how he did with each domain. I can see his score. And the correlation score is not available for all test subscriptions, but essentially what it does is it takes the state standardized test and gives you an idea of um, what their score would be had this been the standardized test. And then I can see the questions that were asked and which ones he missed, and I can go in and see again which answer choice he chose. And I can also see the class average. Now when I go back to my grade book and I click on, oh, let me click, okay, there we go. These are the benchmark results for my class. So I can see that overall, this is how my students are performing with these domains. I can see my grade distribution chart. I can click on individual students and see that each of my students took this exam on 11-16 and I can see how much time they spent taking the test and I can see their correlation score and the score that they received. When I click on student dot rank, this shows me each of the standards that my students were tested on with a color dot that is correlated to mastery. So a pink is 66% or less, orange or yellow is 67 to 84% and green is 85% or higher. And I'm going to come back to the screen in just a second. But first, I'm going to click on item analysis. And this is going to show me question by question how my students performed. So I can see that number 11, 0% of my students um, got it correct. So if I were reflecting on this, that might be a question I throw out, um, you know, because I'm going to take some responsibility for that instruction. Anyways, you can click on each question and see how students answered with each one. Students, I can look at question one and see which students got it correct and which students got it incorrect. But I'm going to get back to the student dot rank because in the presentation I showed you how you can assign remediation. Here are those two buttons, assign individual weakness, assign average weakness. So when I click on the assign individual weakness, it's going to say all six students will be assigned a set of practice questions in his or her three weakest areas. I'm going to go ahead and click confirm. And just like that, my students have three assignments that were created successfully. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in and show you from the student's perspective what they can see. So I'm going to click on home, go to my class, and we're going to be Johnny Snow. So I'm going to log in. 
All right, so here is, first off, the three assignments I just showed you that he has completed. So John can go in and view his results. So just like if, with the benchmark, if I'm conferencing with him, he can already have it pulled up and I can show him, here's how you did, here's how the class did. So you did an excellent job. We need to focus on information and media literacy. So you can have those meaningful conversations with the students to help them with progress monitoring. So whenever I assigned that remedial practice for the benchmark, you can see they've already showed up on his page and it's Johnny Snow suggested practice from this benchmark. And this was the benchmark that he took. So it's that simple for students to be able to go in and get some extra practice for the benchmarks. So that is pretty much all of the presentation and the webinar um, and the live demo that I have created for you guys today. There is a questions box on your control panel. Feel free to type in any questions you have at the moment um, and I can answer those for you. I can go back and show you information. I can show you some different things. Um, this is kind of the, an open floor for you. Okay, I don't have any questions showing up in the questions box. Um, I want to be respectful of your time. So, okay, I do have a question. Do you have seventh grade North Carolina science? Yes, we will have that subscription. Um, let me see if I can get that pulled. We do have it. Um, so you will be able to go in and, and see the different, like we could set you up a trial if you want to send me an email. My email is at the beginning of the presentation um, and I can get, get you a trial set up for that. You're welcome. Would anyone like to see any of the other students scores or explore anything else with grading on USA Test Prep. This is a reminder that you will receive a copy of the webinar and a copy of the presentation so you can share it with others um, or watch this again for clarification. If there are no further questions, I will go ahead and end the webinar. And that way you guys are available um, to send me an email post webinar. Um, you're going to receive a copy of this. It'll have my contact information as well. So feel free to reach out if you have any questions. If not, have a wonderful day and a happy Thanksgiving.